In this tutorial, I will explain to you what the different shamirs are and what they do. Induction can be applied to any metal tool or weapon, and strikes lightning when charged. To charge your tool, you have to move around. You will know when it's charged because a little lightning bolt will appear on your screen. It is more likely to strike players wearing iron or no armor. The fuse can be applied to any armor and it'll stop nearby creepers from exploding. Enderbolts can be applied to swords and will spread a withering disease. Portera can be applied to any pickaxe and will give you loot while mining. It, however, does not work when using Silk Touch. Gemini can be applied to hose, and it will allow you to get twins while breeding. Helios can be applied to any armor and will reduce your weighted armor score by one level. In this case, when I wear full iron armor, I get slowness 1. When I apply Helios to my chest plate, I should have slowness 0. However, be careful when you're wearing only Helios because it will give you wither and levitation. Hyper Xperia can be applied to tools and weapons and will grant extra experience. Levity can be applied to any boots and will allow you to float while sneaking. However, when you punch someone using levity, it will shoot them up into the air. You also don't take any fall damage when using levity. Musical can be applied to weapons and will grant buffs for kills while also playing music. Senses can be applied to compasses and it highlights nearby entities. However, it gives negative effects the longer it is used. When holding a census compass, it allows you to see nearby entities with glowing. However, when you hold it, you get negative effects like wither, hunger, weakness, slowness, and blindness. Sporaculum can be applied to buckets and will turn the bucket into a magnet, sucking nearby items and mobs. Tinker can be applied to tools and it will compact items in your inventory. An example would be redstone to redstone blocks. 